What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Bowman Draft Super Jumbo Two Box Break Random Teams Number Six, guys. And again, um, you just get one team per spot, all card ship, guys. Chasing this man here, including all the top prospects. Now, again, guys, here's the dice roll. Here's the customer names and the teams. Let's click dice roll. One and a six, seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. One to six, seven. Kayam at the top down to Ryan. Then we got seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Detroit Tigers down to the Guardians. All right, so Kyle with the Tigers, Stephen P with the Rays, Gary with the Blue Jays, Greg with the White Sox, Michael with the Pirates, Orioles, Gary with the Mariners, Last Ball Mojo, Michael with the Rangers, Tristan with the Rockies, Jason with the Phillies, Tristan with the Cubs, Randy with the Nationals, Stephen P with the Cardinals, Will with the Royals, uh, as well as the Twins, Eric with the Brewers, Stephen P with the Yankees, Michael with the Red Sox, Gary with the Marlins, Bill with the A's, Anthony with the Mets, Zach with the Diamondbacks, Tristan with the Reds, Zach G win with the Giants, Stephen with the Astros, Angel with the Angels. Michael with the Padres, Oliver with the Dodgers, Francis with the Braves, and Ryan with the Guardians. All right, well, these are the last two boxes of Super Jumbo, guys. We don't have Super Jumbo anymore. So I'll give you a quick minute if anybody wants to try to make any trades. When I get back, we'll close it. Rando, I don't think you're going to want to trade the Nationals, right? You're getting a trade offer.
Okay, let's close it then. Try to trade, could have trade Mojo on those two teams. Alright, so these are the last two boxes, guys. Don't have any more after this. There we go. Also, too, guys, I would love to do another Jumbo case with you guys. I feel like Jumbo has been a great, great uh, version of Bowman Draft. Get a lot of colors compared to you doing Super uh, Super Jumbo. Although Super Jumbo does give you the extra two autographs. Don't get me wrong, obviously, this is just sweet. But I feel like the Jumbo has been really, really good value. Um, we do have 15% off the remaining nine teams. I think Copperman already took advantage of a couple of them. You know, like I said, 15% off is pretty solid, guys, on the remaining uh, nine teams. And if that doesn't move probably within the next hour or so, we're probably going to turn that 15% off into, like, a filler and give it to you guys that way. But, like I said, take advantage of some great teams in there, guys. And honestly, this is one of those products where you don't really need to know much, if any. But, you know, just, just buy some spots and... You know, you get some hits, most likely it's going to be a pretty nice one. Like, I just feel like there's just so much value in this that some of these players will never even hear of, for, uh, you know, for the next few years. But they're already selling for more than currently active MLB stars and all-stars, you know. Bowman Draft, and especially Bowman products in general, is just such a crazy world that a lot of people want to invest early in their career. You know, and hope that they become the next Mike Trout, the next... You know, big superstar, so... I don't know, I feel like it's... I know it sucks because it is such a long break sometimes, but... I don't know, I kind of like it a lot, though. This is the one time I don't I don't really care how long it really takes me to rip these boxes. It's just so fun to kind of pull these bigger young prospects that people are chasing already and early in their career. Alright, so here we go. All right, we got Dylan Head. Then we got Salty Ben. There you go. To 250 purple. That's Phillies going to Jason. <clears throat> Paper Xavier Isaac. To 4.99. Bridge. And first one is Jake Cunningham. Oh, wow. I forgot there was actually some football today. What's going on in the football game? Last week's Raider game was disgusting. I feel like... Wasn't it like 3 nothing? How's that game looking today? Twenty-one nothing Raiders. Wow, and I don't even think they have Josh Jacobs today. Oh well, yeah, they're playing the Chargers. No, no Herbert, right? Easton Stick with his uh, career start, probably one of his first career starts.
All right, Amarion Boyd. Dylan Head for the Padres. Going to Michael all. Uh, strip sack. Joe Kelly always likes to fumble, man. Actually, they don't even have Keenan Allen on there either, right? Yeah, dude. I mean, char Chargers is just rough. Rough time to be a Chargers fan. Ty Pete, a nice Dylan Campbell to 50. Wow, Michael Mayer touchdown. Yeah, I feel like my prime usually is too, Adam. Honestly, sometimes when I'm watching the prime here on this TV, but we have it out there, that one is like 15 seconds ahead of me. Sorry, not to be a spoiler, but it's 21. 21. It's 28 nothing now, so. But yeah, prime sometimes is a little slow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If this was like a national championship game or freaking Super Bowl, and I'm over here like touchdown. I'm sure most of you guys would hate that. Jackson Holiday to one twenty-five. Marcus Brown for the Washington Nationals. That's going to Randy. And uh, fifth round pick to 199. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what Peacock's exclusive games? What are they? This is the one thing, man. Everybody's having their own exclusive shit now. It's like, I can't, I can't afford to have all these damn streaming sites. And I did have Peacock, and I was paying like ten ninety nine for it, and I wasn't even using it. I think I got it for like a deal. It was like your first six months for like two ninety nine. So you're telling me that I can't even watch those games unless it's on Peacock? It's ridiculous, bro. Well, what if I bought NFL Sunday Ticket? I bought NFL Sunday Ticket on YouTube TV because that's what I have as my provider. You tell me I can't also use it there either? Bunch of baloney.
I mean, we move away from, like, the traditional cable boxes and, like, direct TV because it's so much cheaper to stream, you know? But then all of a sudden, now they're having all these exclusive streaming platforms, and then you add them all up, and now you're paying, like, over 100 bucks. I'm, I'm just going to go old school. I'm just going to buy one of those, like, Roku or Amazon Fires uh, jailbroken ones and just just watch it illegally. <laughs> I won't get in trouble for that anymore unless I'm the creator. It's like the black boxes back in the day. Jonah Cox. Yeah, Rex, I heard that news earlier. I just kind of wanted them to go after Randy Rosarania, too, man. He posted up a photo with him and Otani at the World Baseball Classic, basically telling me, please, bring me to L.A. But I think for what the Dodgers were offering, I don't think that was enough for to throw him in that package. So they got Manny Margot, I think, instead. But they're not done yet. They're not done yet, Rex. They have an extra $700 million to spend. So you're telling me, Adam, if, if my Eagles are playing on a wild card game, I'm going to be forced to purchase Peacock for a month <laughs> just to watch it. I, I literally just canceled my Peacock last month. So like I said, I think I had like a deal with my Roku when I got my TV. It was like, oh, I'll get the first six months for like $3.99 or $4.99, whatever it was. And I did it. And then all of a sudden a whole year passed. And then I realized I'm getting charged like 12 bucks a month. Because I had their unlimited plan. It was like no commercials or anything like that. But yeah, I literally just canceled it last month. Because I'm like, dude, I'm just, I'm just wasting like a freaking... Ten, twelve dollar meal right there, a, a month. <laughs> oh, if it's Bill's charges, yeah, we'll get it here. And then I canceled my Max because again I was paying whatever it was, fifteen dollars a month. And when I got YouTube TV, it gave me like free six months or something like that. So. I decided to activate it finally. So that, that's also saving a little bit there. I was like, I'm just wasting too much on so many streaming platforms. Like, I have the bundle that has Hulu, Disney, ESPN+. Plus. I pay, My wife does the Netflix. I have Max now, again. I have Peacock at one point. I didn't pay for Paramount, but my sister pays for that one. So since I let her smooch off of my Amazon, she lets me use that one. <laughs> yeah, I have Amazon as well. But man, dude, this is too much. Oh, nice. Well, you know what? I might have to smooch off my mom. She has DirecTV at home, and I, if I remember correctly, because she's one of those like old school, old school accounts that they gave her Max like for free. So maybe after my free subscription of Max is done with, I might just smooch off of her. I and mean, I really like YouTube TV though. I like that I can add up to like 10 different devices at one time and watch anywhere. And uh, obviously very accessible with the apps, phones, tablets. And for the most part, I think you get pretty much all the main channels that you really want. And then you can always add on shit. And then when they announced that package deal with YouTube TV, I was able to get, uh, I was able to get the NFL Sunday ticket really cheap. I think I only paid like two hundred bucks. So they had like a promo if you were like a YouTube TV subscriber years before and you you, were, you bought it before like June, you get it for like half the price basically. I don't know. I like it. I've always liked the YouTube TV.
Brooks Lee. Well, see, that's the thing, Adam. Yeah, you're, see, I, the only reason why I got it was because I don't really get Eagles games locally. Um, although this year they've been playing a lot of primetime games, so that's good. But, but yeah, if they had a package deal where I could just pay for only the Eagles, I definitely would have done that. But yeah, since you're, you're you live at you live in the city that you have your team in, it's don't really need it. Plus, you can always just do use red zone. You can always purchase red zone on its own. All right, so Brandon Wincar for Minnesota going to Will. I thought I told you that it was ESPN Rex. I believe it was presented by ESPN. I could be wrong though. Got Jacob Wilson and then Gavin Cross to two for three. Oh, what? You know, also, too, depending on your phone provider, I know, like, uh, I know Verizon gives you, like, free uh, Disney bundle. And, like, I, I don't know if, like, for new subscribers, you get, like, Max for free and shit like that, which I think is pretty awesome, actually. There's a lot of promotions out there for a lot of different things, right? Here for, like you said, for being a season ticket holder, for just being a Verizon customer, or being a whatever phone provider you have. I know, I know T-Mobile, I believe, Joe was taking advantage of it. T-Mobile gives out MLB, MLB uh, Game Pass, whatever they call it, for free as well. Which is like a perk. And Johnny Formello. Nice one there for Seattle. Gary, last ball mojo. Class of 2023 autograph. Lana and Marotis. Hunter Holland. Y. Langford and Chase Davis. Taylor to 75. Yeah, who picked up Bolden for fantasy today? <laughs> And we got Calvin Harris, part-time ball player, part-time DJ. White Sox going to Greg to 99.
Yeah, this game's not even fun to watch anymore. Man, Raiders defense must have some crazy amount of points right now. Now we got Ryan Clifford. 199 for the Mets. Hurley. Yeah. Whoa. Dude. This is supposed to be autographed. <laughs> what the hell? Tris. We're definitely going to have to send this one in, buddy. <laughs> this should have been autographed. Alright, we'll put that to the side. Hopefully there's... I mean, if they put some of those out there, then they, there's probably more than one, honestly. Um, yeah, you're going to have to hit up tops. <laughs> Tell them what the hell's going on here. <laughs> yeah, that was supposed to be autograph. He's actually not a bad player. This this guy, I think, that sells for like 70, 75 bucks as a base. So, pretty good prospect there. Second round pick. Have a good one. See you later, man. Peace. So, I know. I should just sign it for him, huh? For real. But there you go, guys. That was the case. Okay, not too crazy. But honestly, I don't know what happened in the first four boxes. But thanks for giving this one a shot, guys. Appreciate it. Jaspies, casebreaks.com.